Hello everybody. Today I'm just going to share with you a few Christmas ornaments I've put together using the beautiful laces and trims and bling from Trezor's Deluxe. I recently got my design team package and a couple of the laces stood out to me and I thought I'd like to use them on some simple, easy to make decorations. I was recently at Lingcraft, which is an Australian uh, craft store and I got myself a pack of um, the, these Christmas balls. Uh, they're not glass. I find it very hard to come across glass baubles in Australia. So these ones are the plastic ones but they look really pretty. And as you can see I've used the beautiful lace from Trezor's Deluxe just to wrap around the Christmas ball. I've left parts that are clear and put some tinsel inside. They're very very lightweight. I don't think anything more is needed to add to that. It looked very pretty on the Christmas tree. So I made a few of those. I used all this trim and I made a set of those. And I've used the vintage gold tinsel in that one. And in this one I've used, um, it's, it's like a clear type of tinsel. Um, I think there is a name for that, but I it escapes me at the moment. But you can see that twinkling inside and that looks very pretty. So I made, I made three gold ones using that trim out of that, out of those ones. As you can see, two of this angel hair, I think it is, called angel hair uh, tinsel. Um, and I only had a little bit, so that's all I've done with those ones. And the next ones I put together are just plain. And I used, there we go, I love these, without anything inside. I think they just look gorgeous. Just check if I'm in shot. Um, they look so, so pretty. And they are made, and I've made two of those, and they are made using this gorgeous uh, trim here, as you can see. And it's actually from my October design team package, and I showed that on my channel and showed you how to make a cross out of that particular lace and so that's exactly what I did as well. I made a cross out of it to show you and I love how it's turned out. Just make sure I'm in shot. And all I did was I used four pieces of the lace. That's the full piece of the trim there. I used a full piece going down the center here and then I used the end bit here up the top and on both sides and I've done that twice on that side as well and in the middle you might just catch it glistening there I've used a little bit of packaging um, plastic you know when you buy your crafts and you get that stiff packaging plastic with it I've just used a bit of that in between um, to keep it stiff and I think that turned out really really pretty I just lined everything up so it kind of matched perfectly. The only place it doesn't quite match up is in the middle here and that's because this bow is spiralled one way so when you do it the other way you know it's not um, lining up perfectly but that doesn't worry me at all because everything else is lining up perfectly and I think it looks quite stunning um, just plain like that hanging on a tree. So I, I did that one as well and then I made another one with a dangle trim, which I think is very, very pretty. And this is, that's pretty much how the trim is. It's just that part with this beautiful long tassel on the bottom. So I've placed three of those around the bauble and one on top like that. I've just tied this lovely skinny bit of tulle that I had around the top because it doesn't need much more decoration than what it is. I mean, by all means, something like that, if you want to put flowers and ribbons and things like that, that's very easy to do. I just, I think it stands on its own. I think it's quite nice the way it is. Um, so I've left it like that. 
And then I thought I'd use a little bit of bling on this one. I had two pieces of this trim left with these dangles. And this particular trim is the one, it has, uh, it has like these little tendrils hanging down in between it. But I didn't use those. I just placed one on this side and one on that side. And I've used some of the beautiful bling trims from Tresors Deluxe. And then I just used a pearl trim around the top to give it a little crown. And it kind of reminds me of a UFO. <laughs> but I, I like it. Whoops, am I in shot there? Oh, goodness, I hope I've been in shot. I like it, and I think it will sparkle definitely on the Christmas tree. Um, it just shows you can make them as fussy or as plain as you like. And last but not least... I had some foam balls and I'd been on Pinterest quite a while ago and seen, seen some Christmas baubles on there that I really wanted to have a go at so I tried it myself and this is what they are and all you, and I like them, I think they're lovely. Um, it's a foam ball and I have used, just pop that there. I've used this lace on this, and this is a really, really pretty lace, like that. I'll get one that's just had it set there. There we go, straighten that out. And I've used this whole bottom section, as you can see, and I've just cut it into pieces and placed it randomly around the foam ball with glue. Once that was dry, I just gessoed all of it and let that dry. And then I put some Perlex paint. Do I have that here? Close? I don't think I do. It's down there still. Some pearlized, I hope you can see that it's like a, a pearly look. I put that over places and wiped it off a little bit. And once that was done, I used some charcoal coloured paint. Um, you can see it's a darker colour. And I painted over the lace bits in, in between. And then before it was dry, I wiped it off. And it left, you know, it left some darker paint in the grooves and everything like that. And I let that dry. And then I just got a little bit of white paint and ran my finger over everything with the white paint. And I really like how they turned out. At first I thought, oh, I don't know if I like that at all. Um, but now I love them. And I may just put a little bit of blinger over here, but I'm still undecided. Because I don't want to overdo things, but I love the touch of red on them. I think it just looks really, really pretty. And when I was going through my Trezor's Deluxe things to um, make these decorations, I, I kind of, I saw these and thought, you know, I might just put a little bit of ribbon on that beautiful key and hang that on my tree as well. And maybe even the carriage. But I might paint this little bit of orange in a, a pearl and maybe, yep, maybe a pearl colour that I used on the other ones because orange really isn't going to go with my colour scheme this year and just hang those on the tree and then when Christmas is over I can return them to my uh, design team package and use them on other projects also but that's an idea about using all your lovely bling pieces for Christmas um, just all your charms and things like that tie a ribbon around them put them on the tree then when it's all over put them back in your stash that way you're using them but you can use them again so I hope you like my um, Christmas ornaments this month I really really enjoyed making them I think they turned out very pretty so thank you so much for joining me